guys. So, like I said, I was going to give you some more, you know, a brief explanation on how, you know, this basically works and how we wired it. All right. So we have two panels here, which basically gives us eight zones. Okay. We're going to be controlling two separate bathrooms with these panels. Okay. So one bathroom and this will be the other bathroom. All right. So it's basically men's and women. All right. So... For one of the, one of the bathrooms, we have four separate zones, which you know, just to give you a brief you know breakdown, it's gonna be uh, the light mirror lights. Okay, it's gonna be one zone, and then we have you know kind of like these cove lights that are gonna be above and below the mirrors, right? That's another zone, and then the center walkway is gonna be another zone of lights, which are gonna be like these down type lights. And then the down lights for the actual toilet areas and the urinals, okay? So that's your four zones, okay? And they'll go in here, all right? You have one, two, three, four zones. This is the power right here for the actual whole panel, okay? Now, the way we're doing this is we're going to use the same circuit that's going to power up the panel we're going to use to feed the actual or four zones. You don't have to do that. You can use four separate um, circuits or even five separate circuits if you want to, you know, power up the panel and use separate circuits for each zone. You can, okay? And uh, these can take up to 16 amps each zone, okay? So now, as far as the zero to 10 dimming goes, that gets connected down here, as you can see. It has its separate zone for each 0 to 10 dimming. And if you look down here further, it's positive, negative, positive, negative. These are all the outputs. Okay, so that's where you would wire your 0 to 10 dimming. Okay, so if you're using luminary cable, that's where that would go. We had, we're using conduit, so we had to, you know, I had to run my power and my dimming, you know, my low voltage dimming separately. Okay, um, so basically... And these are going to be your devices over here for each zone, all right? Now, each zone has a group of devices that you can connect to it, all right? Whether you want to do it wirelessly or you want to do it hardwired, you can, all right? And you can hook up a wired occupancy sensor, a photo cell, okay? You could also do a switch as well, okay? And basically... That's pretty much it on the low voltage side, all right? Now, you also have your contact closers over here, which is the last group over here, okay? You have these emergency contacts that you could actually hook up your fire alarm system to so that if it, it goes off, it'll go into emergency state and it'll turn the lights on. It'll override all your switches, your occupancy sensors, whatever it's kind of device it's working on, all right? And now, one of, another area that I need to speak about is this little block right here, okay? Now, this block right here is where you're going to actually hook up your QS link wire. You can see that it says it right there, QS link, all right? And when it's hooked up, you're, it'll, that little LED will turn on, all right? Now, you have one, two, three, and four terminals, all right? Now, it's very important that you understand that when... You run your QS link, which is this cable right here, all right? This is my QS link. It has, you know, um, four, two 24-volt, um, 14-gauge wires, and then it has some 22-gauge for the, as well. You, you see these, and then it has like a little ground. And this orange wire is not really connected, okay? It's not used, but um, in other instances, you can use it, all right? So, like I was saying, okay, this is your 24 volts, all right, when you're connecting it from panel to panel, for some reason, you don't hook up the red 24 volts. The only ones that get hooked up is your 22 gauge, all right, your two 22 gauge, and your common from your 24 volts, okay? Now, the only time you do hook up the red 24 volts is when it's coming either from the switch or when it's coming from the QSM quantum sensor 
lastly, don't forget to remove these little jumpers, okay? They come pre-installed already, all right? But when, you, when you're starting to wire it, make sure you remove those, okay? Thank you.